I'm Harvey Cook, Technical Advisor for Superform Products. We're here today gonna show you about our one-sided form. So let's get at it. So what are some of the applications for this one side form? Elevator shafts, frost walls, ag buildings, swimming pools, the list goes on. We have the one side form available in six inch, eight inch and 10 inch core. So this is a quick jig that I made here at Superform for assembling the form ply on the one side block. This will do all the sizes of one side block. It holds the form ply in place. Just reach inside, line your tie up. Now you're not trying to hold that form ply. You're not trying to hold that one sided block. You don't have enough hands for that. So there, six inch one side block complete, ready to go in the wall. So if you don't have a jig, or you don't like the jig, you can assemble this one side form on the wall. But as your wall gets taller, it's gonna get harder and harder to do that. So we've set this up. You can do the same size, six inch core, six inch one side, and the form ply sits out here flush to the outside. Or you can step it up and do an eight inch core six inch one side and the form ply sits on the inside. Next, we're gonna show you how to make an outside 90 degree corner and an inside 90 degree corner. So let's get started first with the outside 90 degree corner. So the first question you need to ask yourself, do you want your red ties to line up the full height of the wall? It's gonna take a little math, measuring tape, cut this block properly to get these corners to work like this and end up with your seven and three quarter inch concrete core all the way around. You're not pulling this tighter. This is how you do it. You can see on this corner, you can see on this corner, it's nice and rigid. Got some additional support out there. That's what you need to have. So we talked about building this outside 90 degree corner. You need some additional support on there. I just used a couple pieces of two by six scrap I had here, fasten it here, Pull it tight, fasten it here. That corner will not go anywhere. So moving on down the wall, we come to an inside corner. It's the identical process, except the ICF part of the block is long and the form ply is short. Whereas the outside corner, the form ply was long, the ICF part was short. So the inside corner, to brace this on the form ply side, this is just a two by two full height of your form ply wall, screwed in both directions to pull the form ply tight to each other and keep that corner rigid. Out here, I've got some additional support to keep this ICF from staying where it should, keeping you a nice square corner. So this is how you brace a one side wall. Got all your red ties lined up. You can't brace from the form ply side because your screws are in the way for your wall channel. So you have to put your bracing on the ICF side of the one side. That's why you need your red ties to line up. So we're ready to pour our one-sided ICF wall with concrete. You're gonna start filling your wall. You're gonna stay back 18 inches from the corner. You're gonna come around and start again. Don't vibrate in the corner. You vibrate here, it'll consolidate that corner. Keep filling your wall. Same thing at this corner. 18 inches back from the corner, move around the corner, start again, feel down the wall, stay out of here with the vibrator. You'll have good luck. I got this additional support on here. This wall will not go anywhere. So do you guys wanna oil your form so they release easier? You need to use a vegetable-based form oil rather than a petroleum-based form oil. The petroleum base is gonna eat the EPS. So vegetable-based form oil, and it's available. In closing, we've showed you how to assemble a one-side form wall with an outside corner, an inside corner. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, please reach out to us.